Hello everyone, it is your favorite monkey, Baboon, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So, I have done some couple of things off camera. First of all, I have expanded our little mining operation with some more miners. Let's quickly check them out. Uh, yeah, they are full up over there and over that one. And I think I placed two or one over here. I think. No, just one, yeah. Just for the limestone. Limestone is not that necessary, I've seen in the game, but not. Uh, but it is eventually going to be necessary, but not as much. And then over here, we can quickly. I want to get to that thing. That thing is making a weird sound. I want to get to it. And over here we have two more, which is mining some copper for us. All right, so that is 100%, and things are looking good for us. So the plans for today is we. What are, what are we going to do? It's been, a, it's been a few days since I actually played the game. What I have done is I have a different save file. I started up a new game just to, you know, jump a little bit ahead because... Yeah, anyways, don't forget about that. Don't forget about that. I have created a new game just to see how everything works, just to figure it out and everything. So, at the end, we might have a good base of operations going. So, first of all... I figured out that these ladders are good vantage points for stuffs, okay? <laughs> they really do help to get an overview of everything. So, my plan is... Um, I want to take that thing, move it over to this side. And this whole block over here is going to be our major production area. With conveyor belts and some mining nodes, or mining operations, whatever. There's two of them over there, two nodes. So that will dramatically increase our iron input, so our iron production into steel plates. And, well not steel plates, just plates. Iron plates, not steel, iron. And one is going to be iron in plates, and the other one is going to be the rods, or pipes, or whatever. And yeah. So we're just going to buzz them out, and a couple of things there, here and there, but yeah. Okay, so, uh, last episode we did go ahead, and I think we finished this constructor, I think. And we've done a couple of upgrades, and I just can't, cannot remember. So let's go here, let's check out here. So this thing will give us a storage container and a Mark 1 miner, and a one extra inventory slot. So let's go ahead and say, yes, I want to go ahead and upgrade the hub to this one. Okay, um, I, wonder if I can't show you guys this. I'm, I'm on my second save, I'm on this tier. So it's tier 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 blah. I'm on this tier now, and I think I'm working towards tier 2. Yeah, I'm busy with a couple of things here for tier 2. But anyways, um, so yeah, we can see the miners, I want to get that running for today, and get some storage up as well, because storage became a problem in Mado Save. And then over here we get the extra um, biomass burner, which is basically the same thing as this thing over here. Okay, so if we can get a couple more productions going, that would be great. And this thing is slowly but surely actually using power, this machine. Although it's sitting idle, it's using power, so we need to, you know, keep that in mind. And off camera, not just the miners, but also I've been constructing and collecting a lot of things for us to get started for this episode. So, let me quickly go into the inventory, so we've got a smelter constructor. And that is 100%. And logistics, we have a conveyor belt and some power lines. So these are foundations. We will play with them in the near future. Or later future, actually. And what I want to see... I want to see what we can do with this. Uh, I'm going to check out some other YouTubers working with foundations and things. But in my mind, if we can put down foundations and make this a nice flat area to work with, that would be great. You know, we don't have to worry much about terrain and whatnot. Let's go and get something started. We need a hundred plates. We got 50 there. Let's go and do that, do that. And give it some love in here. Great stuff. And pipes, we have actually quite a few. Let's go ahead and just chuck that in there. Alright, and... So now it is requiring us to make concrete. So that is going to take some limestone. Let's go ahead and craft up just 20. Super quick. There we go. Come on. Oh, just went over the limits. Damn it. 
Uh, no, you don't need it. You need it. Let's go ahead and then 20 cables. Not that hard to make. Where is our copper? You know what? Let's just put that back. There we go. Alright. Copper ingots. And with the copper ingots become wire, the wire become cable. So we will see in a second how many we can make. We need 20. And if we do this... Okay, that's going to be more than enough. There we go. That is what I want. That is beautiful. Great stuff. Now we can go ahead and upgrade the hub. Yay! We did it. We did a thing. Incoming message. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Ninth objective, hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note. To ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Okay, and let's just put this thing over here. That's fine. I mean, we can still get out here in betweens. Alright, so... Um, there was something I want to say. Oh, the snap to grid thing is actually pretty cool. Uh, I think I might be able to show it at very, very soon in the future. Well... Yeah, we might we might see it in this episode, um, but yeah, I did figure out how the snapping works and everything. So as we can see, the hub upgrade granted us a a second biomass generator where we can produce more power, which is great. And in here, look at this. This is so awesome. We got a toilet, which is nice. We got um, I think that's like a little oven and stuff. We got some lockers and bunk beds, and this is for me. This is nice. I like it how. Somebody was playing solitaire. This one requires an update. We can see like system update required, and that is like somebody playing solitaire. Uh, a little chat program that was been happening. You can pause the video here to read that chat. I, I had a little bit of a chuckle. And um, that's just some coding. That's some stuffs. That's some stuffs. I don't know what the moose thing is regarding that. And this is the best. Like a blue screen of death. This is just the orange screen of death. <laughs> Yeah, this is great. I love it. This is such a small attention to detail, but I love it. This this is what makes a game great. Just small things, you know. This is going to be useless. I haven't found it in my second file or save any use for this except for something that might happen in the future. But anything else, no. Okay, now let us go ahead and start working on these mining operations. We need to get some smelters up. Okay, uh, let's see... Rods and wire. Let's grab that. Uh, we got some copper ore there. Let's grab the iron ore as well. Because we're going to need that. Okay, let's go ahead to do that. And wait for the rods to rise. How many do we need, by the way? For one. No. Uh, five, so let's make ten and sixteen. So... 10 rods. Okay, we got enough. And then... 16 wires. Okay, that should be more than enough. Okay, so we can see it has an input and output. And the snapping doesn't work with these guidelines. Okay. But if we... Do this... Okay, I just want to make sure this thing is... There we go. Now, if I hold in control, there it snaps. You see? And over here, it snaps as well. Which is awesome. I love it. So you can plan quite carefully. So let's just bring these guys to, like, here. Okay, so these require power, so we need to relay some power to them. And the way we do this is with a pole like this. So what I want to do is get some wire and some more concrete, which would be great. Please and thank you. I think that's what it requires. Um, yes, got some 
got all of those things and now just some of the concrete uh, let's just grab that and that make some concrete over here just a little bit you know just a tiny amount so that we know we have enough for more power poles right so i'm just gonna stick it in between here okay and then unfortunately these poles don't snap to anything as well which is a shame let's go ahead and do that all right and then we can just i'm just gonna do this reason is that you can only have one connection to these generators just one but with a pole it splits up into four so you can uh yeah we'll show you guys in a second so let's go ahead deconstruct that line deconstruct this all right and now what i want to do is get the constructor it's facing the correct way use this using the snapping stools let's just move a little bit forwards something about here there we go so now it is perfectly lined up and there is a reason why i made this gigantic space which we'll get to in the future but for now it's going to be fine we just want some basic production going and another constructor is just oh three reinforced plates now these are always a pain in the butt to make because they require iron plates and screws so let's go ahead and do that now just gonna create a couple first things is the rods and then a bunch of screws like that and then let's just do this and what i've noticed at some point when you craft so much with this button this whole panel becomes like like super heated glowing red and everything is shaking <laughs> that is that is so cool you know attention like i said attention to detail that is just what i like about different games okay and let's go ahead and do this one two oh almost And let's just craft a bunch more like that and there we go two three boom and constructor which we can line up oh well this is a little bit unfortunate okay so let's just move it As we can see, I put, I'm using the snap tool to snap to our constructor on our left hand side. Just going to move it as tad this way and do this. And using this tool, bring that down and bring the smelter back. And that's just fine. I just wish it could um, connect the two angles because it either snaps to that or that doesn't snap to both of them at the same time just in independently it does so this means we have to move this a little bit something like this great stuff and then this one is also going to need its own pole. We cannot afford it because we're missing a rod. Damn it. Let's go ahead and make a rod. There we go. Happy. Better be happy. And let's just place it. How about in here? Let's just scooch back. Like that. Great stuff. Uh, let me just give me a second. Okay. So this is all done. Let's go ahead and grab these two guys. Nope. Pick up miner. Let's grab grab the stuff inside of it as well, like so. And now comes the farm part, where we have to craft the big miners 
Uh, so we just need 10 rods. Okay, that's simple enough. So let's make 9, because plus at 1 is 10. There we go. And first things first. This one. This one like that. And I think we need to get rid of the centerpiece because if we try to place it, it's telling us like, nope, there's not, there, we cannot because this this thing is in the way. So we're going to smack at it a little bit. Come on. Break already. Uh, when we get these operations up, then these mining operations, things should be swell. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, right, that's fine. All right, so do we have? We have three steel plates. We're gonna need the steel plates and cable. More wood, I guess. Actually, no. Let's go ahead put these guys back like that. Want to do that? Right click on it to split it. Okay, that's what we need. There's some of that. Let's grab some. Where is salt? This please. Our iron ore. And also copper. That's limestone. There we go. No, that's that's more iron. Just grab a stack like that. Okay. Reason why I'm doing this is because I want to go ahead and make some iron plates. And each conveyor belt takes about a little, a major amount of, some amount of plates. It should be good. Like that, and let's just do this. Okay. Then the copper ingots. It's going to craft up lots of wire, because we have a lot of wiring to do as well. Okay. Just about, uh, let's say, a hundred. There we go. And that should be enough. Yep, that, that's going to be more than enough, actually. A little bit overkill. But you cannot have too much overkill, am I right? There we go. So... Let's do that. Click there. And... You know what, let's just do this for now. And this. I know it's not sexy or anything yet, but it should be in the near future. Okay, and these conveyor belts run on black magic because they are running already. Which is weird because there's not really any power connected to anything. Speaking of power, uh, we need to get a power cable there as well. So we need three wires, rod, and concrete. We have wire. We don't have concrete. Oh, there we go. Concrete. And rods. Yes, we do still have some of those. Okay. Just that. Because I want a power cable between these guys as well. Just about here. Let's see. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and connect up these guys. That to there. That to there. That to there. So, this one to here. That's okay. That to there, that to there. Like so. Like so. That's okay. Can I? Yeah, there we go. And now, everything should be powered. 
Look at his drills go. Ooh, that's awesome. I'm loving this. So now, here comes our rocks. And then they're gonna go down smelting into, I should probably say iron ingots here. That and like that. And then these guys should, I should say something like that and that. All right, so everything is working 100% before we get a problem of power. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's take that out and do that. There we go. Both of them are running. Now we have power and production. Oh, look at that. 10 ingots made already. Let's get up here and take a quick peek. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, oh, man. Get out of here. Oh, that is so cool. We've got, we got it, guys. We got it. And on that note, I'm going to end off the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Satisfactory. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.